Welcome to our journey into the world of whey protein, a daily dietary choice for millions worldwide. It starts as simple cow's milk and transforms through several stages in factories to become a premium protein powder. Today, we're pulling back the curtain to reveal how over 10,000 bottles of whey protein are produced daily, from the dairy farm right to the production line. Whey protein originates from cow's milk. Specifically, it comes from the liquid part that separates from the curds during cheesemaking. For centuries, this byproduct was overlooked and often discarded, leading to environmental concerns due to its potential to pollute water and soil. However, as our understanding of nutrition evolved, so did our appreciation for whey protein's nutritional value. This realization sparked a revolution in processing techniques, turning what was once waste into a valuable health supplement. The story begins on dairy farms, where cows are nurtured with care, as it's believed that contented cows produce superior milk. This high-quality milk is crucial for creating an equally high-quality protein supplement. An average cow can give about 30 liters of milk each day. Out of the 3% protein in this milk, 19% is whey protein. Cows are typically milked twice a day using automated machines that ensure a hygienic and efficient process. Once collected, the milk, a rich source of proteins, fats, carbohydrates, and minerals, is stored in refrigerated tanks. These tanks are essential in maintaining the milk's freshness, preventing contamination, and stopping bacterial growth, thus preserving the milk's quality for the next phase of whey protein production. As our journey continues, the milk makes its way from dairy farms to the cheese processing facilities. Each day, fresh milk is carefully transported to local cheese factories. To ensure it remains fresh and safe, refrigerated transportation is crucial. Upon arrival at the factory, the milk undergoes thorough quality checks to confirm it meets the high standards required for cheese manufacturing. Once the milk is offloaded into the factory, it's stored in refrigerated tanks awaiting the next crucial step, pasteurization. But first, a vital check on the milk's quality and freshness is performed, adhering to strict food safety standards. During pasteurization, the milk is heated to approximately 60 degrees Celsius for about 30 minutes. This process is essential to eliminate any harmful bacteria, enhancing the milk's safety for consumption. Following this, the milk is rapidly cooled down to 4 degrees Celsius. This rapid cooling is key to halting the heating process and preserving the milk's quality and flavor. Throughout pasteurization, meticulous temperature control is maintained to ensure the milk stays within safe ranges. After this process, the milk is ready for the next phase, component separation. In a specific unit, the pasteurized milk is placed in a large container for mechanical separation. At this stage, a coagulant is added, leading to the formation of curds. Simultaneously, the remaining liquid, known as whey, separates from the curd. This process marks the beginning of whey protein's journey from a simple byproduct to a valuable nutritional supplement. Here, the curd separates from the whey taking distinct paths. The curd embarks on a journey to become fresh cheeses, while the whey sets off on a different route, destined for further processing. During this separation, physical methods like filtration come into play, ensuring a clean break between the curd and the whey. The whey, now a liquid rich in proteins, embarks on its own journey of refinement. This stage is critical to extract the valuable protein we're after. While the liquid whey is rich in proteins, it may also carry traces of fat and unwanted minerals. In some cases, an additional purification step is introduced to strip away these extras, aiming for a cleaner, more concentrated whey protein. Advanced techniques like microfiltration and ultrafiltration step into the spotlight here. They act like fine sieves, filtering out impurities and concentrating the whey proteins. This results in a purer product, rich in protein and low in fat and lactose, while preserving essential nutrients. The outcome, a highly concentrated liquid whey teeming with protein and stripped of unnecessary elements. But the journey doesn't end here. Next, the whey undergoes evaporation. In industrial evaporators, water is gently removed from the whey under controlled temperatures. This is a delicate dance, ensuring the proteins aren't harmed by the heat. The goal is to maintain the protein's integrity while transforming the liquid into a more concentrated form. Throughout evaporation, water turns to vapor leaving behind a denser mixture of proteins and other solids. This careful process ensures that the end product is not just rich in protein, but also of the highest quality. Once most of the water is removed, the liquid whey enters the drying process. Here, a balance of hot and cold air plays a vital role. The hot air works to evaporate any remaining water, while the cold air cools down the product, 
ensuring it transforms into a fine powder with minimal moisture. The next step is sieving. This is where any larger particles are removed, ensuring the powder's consistency and uniformity. Following sieving, the powder undergoes mixing to remove any residual moisture and to achieve a perfectly homogeneous mixture. Once mixed, the whey protein powder is ready for packaging. It's bagged and shipped off to wholesalers, journeying to what is known as the world's largest protein factory. This factory operates like a well-oiled machine, 24-7, processing hundreds of tons of whey protein and churning out thousands of products. In the extensive warehouse of the food supplement company, thousands of bags of whey protein powder arrive daily. From here, they're taken to the weighing room, where each ingredient is carefully weighed. The materials pass through a fine sieve, typically with a 2 millimeter opening, ensuring that all ingredients are finely ground and easy to mix. The whey powder then travels to the mixing area. Here, various flavors are added, giving each product its unique and delicious taste. The mixing process, conducted in rotating drums, ensures that the flavors are thoroughly blended with the protein powder. An operator then places empty bottles onto a conveyor belt, signaling the start of the filling process. An automatic filling machine meticulously fills each container with the precise amount of protein powder. A worker plays a crucial role here, using a vacuum hose to transfer the protein powder from the bags to the packaging machine. Precision is key in this step, ensuring each container is filled with the exact amount of protein. After the filling, each container undergoes a critical weighing process. This is to confirm that the right amount of whey protein powder is present. Then. As the containers move along the conveyor belt, another important task takes place. An operator places a measuring spoon in each can and secures the lid properly. Quality control is vital in this stage. A visual inspection ensures the product's appearance is up to standard and free from any visible contaminants. Each container is then labeled with essential information, including the product name, nutritional facts, usage instructions, expiration date, and lot number. Once labeled, an employee adds a plastic ring to the lid of each jar. The jars are then directed to a heat sealing machine. This machine uses heat to seal the plastic rings, creating an airtight seal that guarantees the product's freshness and safety. Finally, the filled, verified, and sealed containers are placed in boxes. This not only ensures their safety during transport, but also streamlines the distribution process. Thank you for joining us on this enlightening journey through the world of whey protein production. Tune in next time for more fascinating insights into the everyday products that enrich our lives.